everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of McCall Media TV with myself, Angela McCall. So, as you can probably guess, I'm not in my office. No, I'm actually out on location. I've done a little sneaky caravan break with my girls for a weekend. And whilst we were here, obviously we've had some sort of turbulent weather, shall we say, in good old October, at the end of October. And it led me to think about another little top tip, technical tip for you guys. So we are going to look at today how you can use your mobile phone, Wi-Fi or data band, shall we say, to be able to power your laptop, which you can connect to your TV and stream your Netflix or your Amazons and everything else that you might want to do without having to pay a hotel or a caravan park and their extortionate internet connection fees. Okay, so if you haven't been here before, please do subscribe, stay notified, and if you've got any comments or any other types of ideas or solutions to get around this problem for yourselves, add them in the comments below. This might just be just one method that works for me, but it's obviously, there's there could be lots of different ways, and I'd like to see what you guys do to do similar things. So, if you're like me, um, you like technology, and sometimes you're out and about, especially if you're in a hotel and you want to use the internet, you know you've got the internet on your phone through your data plan, but sometimes you get this challenge, you know, how do you connect it? Do I have to pay for the local hotel Wi-Fi and that kind of thing? So this video is gonna explain everything. And I'm gonna start by talking to you about your mobile phone settings and making that personal hotspot. So what we're gonna do is I'm using my boyfriend's phone because obviously I'm using my phone right now to improvise and do this video for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our mobile phones into a Wi-Fi connection. We're gonna do that by going into settings. Now obviously it might be a slightly different process if you're on an Android, but on an iPhone, this is as you can see, I'm using my boyfriend's, we're gonna to go to personal hotspot. And then as you can see, the personal hotspot is turned off. Now I'm gonna just set that to green, which basically turns it on. And it means that any other device in the local area, within a say sort of about sort of a six to 10 meter range, is now gonna be able to use this phone's data plan as a Wi-Fi connection and connect to the internet. Now, as you can see, I've already created a password there. So you will need to give your uh, hotspot a password, just like you would if you was connecting to your router at home. So what we need to do now is we need to collect your laptop to use that hotspot as a Wi-Fi connection. Now I'm on uh, obviously a Mac as well. So I'm just gonna quickly click on the little Wi-Fi signal. And as I can see, I can see David's phone, which is the name of his phone. And that's the connection I wanna to connect to. Next thing it's gonna do when it pops up in just a second, it's gonna ask me for that password that I created. So I'm just gonna type that in, okay. And I'm going to click join. Now it might take about sort of 10, 15 seconds or so for my computer to actually start using the Wi-Fi connection. Obviously, I'll know when that little Wi-Fi symbol stops powering up and it's connected and it goes to and I don't know if you can see this quite well, but I will show it a little flag it up. But there's a little sort of two links. It looks like a kind of a chain link symbol to show that it's actually connecting to a, a hotspot and not a Wi-Fi. So that's come up now. So I know that my, my laptop is now connected. Now I've already opened up uh, Amazon Prime because this was the video that we were playing with last night in order to get this whole process up and running when there was a big old storm and all the, the caravan lights were flickering and the signal for the, the TV was going. We thought, actually, I wonder if we can do this. So I know that we can basically start streaming to my laptop now. Now it did take when we did this last night, obviously we're running the data through the mobile phone, through the air, through to the laptop. So you do need to wait for a little bit of a buffer time. So it's a, it's a patience job, shall we say. And then what we also found for maybe for the first two or three minutes of watching the film, it was quite pixelated, but essentially it, came, it kind of buffered and enough data had caught up with the laptop that the picture then became crystal clear. So I'm just gonna wait for that to happen now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, now I came prepared because I've got a three meter, as you can see here, HDMI cable. One end is connected to the, uh, the TV. There you go, you can see it's starting to stream already. And the other end is connected to my laptop or it will be in just a second. So little note on the HDMI cables. Think about this and the use that you're gonna use. Now this is a three meter cable purely because when I'm at home in my house, sometimes I've used my main TV as a monitor screen and I've connected it to a laptop to do all sorts of things and demonstrate stuff to other people. And also because my girls like to stream Disney Channel and it's only running off of one of the laptops, that kind of thing. So I've got a really nice long 
three meter cable but think about your use if you're going to be in a hotel often hotels have the tvs mounted on walls and obviously you're not necessarily going to have a nice little bench right next to it so you might need to balance your laptop or maybe a chair or a stool so i would suggest if you're going to take this and you're going to do this kind of process you're looking for at least a two meter hdmi cable and i would definitely say that most hotel rooms in 2020 and going forward are going to have tvs that are modern enough to have hdmi cable to be able to connect everything up so I'm just going to connect this now through to my laptop, which port is it on? There we go. So just as simple as that. Now, what the next thing I need to do is I've just angled my little screen. You can see that I've got the, uh, I think it's a BBC up on the TV there now. What I actually need to do now, I'm just going to need to find the source on my uh, control now on the TV. So I've got to basically tell the TV that it's working from the HDMI cable. Oh, I've got to go quicker. There we go. So I'm going to try HDMI 1. It could be HDMI 2. Let me have a look. Okay, so this is what I meant by it being pixelated. So what is happening at the moment, you've got the, obviously you're streaming through the mobile phone, through the air, to the laptop, down the HDMI cable, into the TV. So as you can see that the TV is now mirroring my laptop. So it's basically acting like a second monitor. You can see there on the picture that it's probably, if you zoom in on this video, you can see that it's a little bit pixelated. All you need to do is run your video now and within the next couple of minutes or so, it will all catch up. That's my laptop going on standby, hang on. So I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna go full screen. Now I've got it turned down low so I can do this video for you. So as you can see now, it's gonna take a few seconds for everything to catch up. It's almost there, it's still a little bit pixelated, so we'll give it a couple of minutes and I'll show you, it literally takes two or three minutes into the video for everything to work. All of the audio and visual signal is traveling down the HDMI cable through to the TV. And what I'm just gonna quickly do now is I'm just gonna go to the settings up here, which you should be able to see pop up and I'll zoom in. Let me see if I can just angle that a little bit better for you. And what we've got is we've selected best, which actually says underneath it, uses about 1.17 gig per hour. Now that's worked really nicely for us because we managed to get the picture to catch up. Again, it's still not quite there at the moment. I'd say it's probably like a standard definition broadcast at the moment. Okay, so it's still a little bit pixelated at the moment, but by the time it gets to about two or three minutes in, it would have it would have caught up. And as you can, even while I'm talking, if you look carefully at the screen behind me here, it's actually catching up as we speak right now. So it doesn't take long. You just have, a, have to have a little bit of patience. I think by the end of the video, so by the end of this film, which is just under two hours long, we'd what, used about a gig of data on your mobile plan? About that. So it's, it, you know, it depends on your data plan and how ambitious you want to be. But we'd done this really quite quickly and nicely and we didn't have any interruption. There was a big old thunderstorm going on and we watched without any interruption, interruption, any buffering, any pixelation, nothing. It was a brilliant broadcast all the way through. And that is how you use your data plan to connect to your hotel or your caravan, as in my case, and stream yourself from Netflix or Prime without having to pay for the local uh, data service. Okay, so that's it for me today. So remember, if you are going to go down this route and you are going to do this, we ended up using around about a gig and a half worth of data on our data plan, which is already paid for because we have our mobile phone plans in place. So we didn't have to spend any money. So it's a bit of a cheat. The only thing you really need to do is remember to obviously pack your laptop and pack a HDMI cable. So that's it for me today. If you've got any comments or questions, I'll try very hard to answer any of your queries that you may have. Please put your comments below. Please support this channel. It, obviously, I do everything that I do out of passion and love and uh, so you giving me that thumbs up really does mean a lot to me because I know what I'm delivering to you as content is stuff that you want to learn about so that's it for me today see you on another video real soon